Folks, welcome back to another episode of Ranch Rehab. Welcome back. Yes, and today is part two of the antique cultivator renovation. Yes. Mm-hmm. And basically, I thought we were baling hay. That was the longest pause I've ever heard in my life on an intro, Jennifer. Well, maybe there should be a pause. <laughs> maybe there should be. <laughs> Anyways, let's get to work. <laughs> let's get to work. <laughs> okay, so the first thing that we're gonna do is just kind of get the rust off here with these metal brushes, just like we did last time with the other one. Jennifer, you're doing a great job. Thank it's looking you. good. These wire brushes, they really do a good job knocking down some of that rust and some mold and whatnot that's on the, this uh, right. this yeah. wheel. Yeah, we just want it to be able to accept our paint really well. And Anyway, I'll leave you to your work, Jennifer. Thank you. You're welcome. Voila, we're done. And now we're just using this cloth. We're gonna get off any little metal shavings. Jennifer, how you looking? It's looking great. Wow, we're just about ready to paint. But before we do, we're gonna go ahead and mark our holes. So let's just flip this over, place these up here. That way we can make this a template. Yeah, because the worst thing ever would be to drill holes into this handle and have them be wrong. Normally, I'm the one who drills the holes into these handles. But today, Jennifer's gonna drill the holes. There we go. So, obviously we're gonna use our Ryobi cordless drill, but to be honest with you, I'd rather use an electric drill because they have a lot more power. These things. Nice, look at that. We've got both of these handles drilled out, looking great. Now, I need to start painting. And remember the last time I painted, <laughs> it was terrible. I was getting paint all over the place. It was leaking last time. Mm. That's the carnage that happened when I tried to paint. So I'm gonna go with this can right here because I believe, I believe I actually fixed the nozzle, but I don't know for sure. Wait a minute, no. Oh, <laughs> oh here we go. Oh boy. So what I want to do is I want to make sure I have coverage on all sides of this wheel and spokes. All right, Jennifer, so I need to rotate this wheel around just a little bit. Yeah, so we got a flat uh, paint and primer in one, leaky can in one. Yeah, leaky can. Folks, we not only fix things at Ranch Rehab DIY, but we also do a little professional wrestling. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> backyard, back behind the workshop. Professional Tell us wrestling. about 40 wrestling. So Jennifer is going to try a move on me. We're going to see if it works or not. A sunset flip. So Jennifer, we attempted professional wrestling in the side of the shop here. <laughs> now we got to get back to work. Look at this. Look at this. Can you help me out? Yes. Oh my gosh. Okay. So what we need to do is take these parts that we spray painted over to this area and start assembling the cultivator. Okay, so now it's time to assemble the cultivator. Yes! Now, if you didn't break the, the bottom off here, the stand, it would be that easy was strictly to accidental. stand up. Voila. In the box. What are you gonna do with it a in the box? A box stand. A yes. box stand, okay. Yes. Show me what Precisely. you got here. Precisely. What do I got? I got a box. Yeah, that works. Does it? Yes. It's it, All it has to do is hold it enough for us to put our little handles on. <laughs> Come on, Jennifer. <laughs> Rip them apart I like know. a savage. Oh. Throw your teeth and just tear it. <laughs> I Let mean, me take a, a look bowl. at our other cultivator as okay. an example here. Look at this, Jennifer. Why We're do I have, have gloves on? I don't know why you have a gloves on, I Michael Jackson. <laughs> you just put one on. Look at that, Jennifer. I know. It's You've got amazing. another walk behind high wheel cultivator. I know. I can't believe we have two nice ones Look at now. this, folks. You know what, though? Mine is actually functional, whereas yours has a little stand on it. Mine has a stand on there. It says, look, folks, check us out. <laughs> We've got our 
walk behind high wheel cultivators here. Very How nice, nice is this? It is, it's beautiful. We went from lawn ornament to functional piece of equipment. I know. So that wraps up part two of the uh, antique walk behind cultivator restoration. I know, it's so exciting. I'm pumped and they look marvelous. We're excited and we're also very tired and hungry. Yeah, it's time for some chocolate. We're out of here. See you guys later. <laughs> See ya.